Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to go over the uh, Digital Stores Management System, or DISMIS, uh, in the A10C. Uh, the DISMIS system basically uh, tells you what stores you have available on your aircraft, um, what weapons you have, uh, as well as lets you um, go in and edit uh, weapons profiles and individual weapon settings um, to suit your, your needs for target type or, you know, flight plan, attack approach, that kind of thing. Um, so basically I'm just going to run through the major systems in the Dismas. Um, I'm not really going to go into how to edit individual weapons. Uh, I think I'll reserve that for individual weapons tutorials. Um, but I will show you, you know, the general layout of, of the Dismas. Um, right now, as we look at our Dismas page, it's accessible on our uh, any any of our screens here by hitting the Dismas page select button on the bottom of our uh, MFCD. Um, it shows, we'll start from the side here, the left hand side, it shows uh, each station on the aircraft um, starting from the left wingtip and going across and up to the right wingtip. Um, left wingtip is station number one, right wingtip is station number eleven, and our center line is uh, number six. Uh, also along the top we have some different uh, sub pages for the Dismas system. We have the profile page which shows us a list of weapons profiles that we have that are applicable to our loadout. We have a missile control page which lets us uh, edit certain um, aspects of our mis uh, different missile systems we have on the aircraft. Right now we have Mavericks and AIM-9 so we can uh, edit some AIM-9 um, options as well as adjust our Maverick uh, options as well. We can also turn on and off our Maverick seek Seeker Head um, from this page as well as a couple other uh, options for the AIM-9 as well. Um, we have our Selective Jettison page which obviously lets us selectively jettison certain uh, stores from our aircraft um, in case we have a, a bad bomb or something, you know, going wrong with the stores, we can jettison that store. And that's the selective jettison page. And we have the inventory control page, which lets us uh, edit um, individual inventory options for each station. Um, this is where we'd be changing laser codes for laser guided bombs like the GBU-12 and uh, a couple other um, options in other different weapons. Uh, an, uh, more options on the uh, main status page of our Dismas is uh, at the bottom here we have our current gun ammunition count. Uh, we have uh, 1,150 uh, combat mix rounds currently loaded in the aircraft. Uh, in the center it says weapons off. This will, um, this will change based on what you have selected. Um, Uh, either through the Dismas as I was just doing or through the HUD um, cycling through weapons profiles. Um, that will also change when we arm the aircraft. Uh, if you turn the master arm, obviously we have the ground safe on, so we'll have a ground safe indication here, but in the air it'll, uh, it'll show that the master arm is on. Um, that basically covers the main page of the uh, of the Dismas. Um, a little clarification, each of these numbers on the inside gives us an account of stores. So we have obviously two AGM-65Ds on station three, which is our third station in on the left-hand wing. Again, we have two on station nine, which is uh, the uh, Mavericks on the right wing. Um, one each of our GPUs, uh, 12s and 38s on each side of the aircraft for a total of four guided bombs. And we have a Mark V um, rocket pod with seven high explosive anti tank rockets, as well as our two AIM 9s at the bottom, uh, a far right wingtip right there. Um, this also will show our lightning pod, targeting pod on station 10, and our ALQ 184S jammer pod on station 1. Alright, the main thing you're going to be doing 
in your uh, Dismas page is modifying profiles for your weapons and this allows you to modify how you want the weapon to drop what mode you want to use it, drop mode you want to use it by default, be it CCRP, CCIP, etc. Et um, it's going to let you edit uh, guided bomb parameters, um, it's going to let you edit time of fall, all different kinds of uh, uh, parameters based on the weapon you have selected. And you can actually create more profiles for in individual weapon types based on the needs that you have during the mission. So you could create theoretically two different GPU-38 profiles with different settings to use to attack two different tar types of targets. Now if we hit the profile button we can uh, we can cycle through with OSB 19 and 20 I believe uh, we can cycle through our uh, weapons profiles. Now we have a couple extra weapons profiles stored in here because I changed the loadout before I started this so we can ignore the uh, the BDU weapons profiles because they're no longer applicable. We can actually clear those actually. If we scroll up to BDU, we can clear profile. So that way that's not confusing. So, um, like I said, for bombs you can edit uh, many different parameters depending on the, the weapons types. Uh, Mavericks, there's not a lot of parameters to, to look at in the Maverick. You can change the launch mode, you can change whether you want to launch one or two singular pairs. Well, other. <laughs> Thanks for proving me wrong. Other weapons you can change singular pairs. Obviously you're only going to launch la want to launch one Maverick at a time. Uh, you can change minimum altitude settings. Um, the biggest things you're going to see in most uh, profile pages is you'll have the main profile page right here and then we'll have a change settings page that we can go to which will have more options to change. But obviously we don't have very many options with the Mavericks so we can just hit return and go to profile main to go back to our profile list. Now for the GBU-12 there's going to be a lot more options. We can hit view profile to view the GBU-12 profile and uh, you see we can change dropping in singles or pairs or ripple single or ripple pairs. Ripple single and ripple pairs are going to be uh, you know, dropping more than one bomb uh, during a single pass and obviously we can set the ripple quantity here, um, the spacing of the bomb drop and uh, what mode we want to drop in, yada yada yada. And we'll also see that there are many many more settings we can uh, alter with the uh, GBU-12 such as uh, lays time, or excuse me, uh, whether or not you want the TGP to automatically lays for the bomb, uh, your laser time, uh, minimum altitude, which is a standard of most weapons, desired time of fall, uh, your escape maneuver, um, a lot of these are standard across most weapon types. It's just dependent on the weapon type. So you can make your edits in your um, profile settings here, and then you just click the save button to save that profile and whatever settings you, you've made have been uh, saved. Uh, we can look at the GBU-38. Uh, profile here and you'll see that there's not a lot of options to change. Uh, it's pretty pretty self uh, sufficient weapon. But um, that's how you uh, change your weapons profiles and um, it's, it's a really good way of just being able to um, you know edit your weapons basically to uh, to do what you want them to do and um, you know get maximum effect on target so we can hit stat now and go back to the main page um, if we go to our missile control page we can adjust we can turn this option on on our Mavericks here to adjust the uh, Maverick foresight. We, we really don't need to um, to change that. And then we can set our... Um, you can actually set the Mavericks up to turn on um, either at a certain bearing and range to a steer point. So we, we have to be on that bearing and at range to be able to for have the, the uh, EO power for the Mavericks to come on. Or we can set a time, uh, elapsed time, 
after takeoff or elapsed time before steer point. Um, so we can edit our settings in there and um, the uh, EO power will come on automatically, the secret head power for the Maverick. Um, we can also adjust our AIM-9 bore sight and we can turn off and on the uh, I believe they turn off the on on the secret heads here, but they're currently not selected or not armed, so it doesn't matter. Um, that's about it for the missile control page. If you go to our selective jettison page, this isn't going to work on the ground, obviously, but you can select individual stores here and selectively jettison them. Um, basically, unarmed jettison of the stores uh, by using by selecting the store you want and uh, uh, pickling the weapon. Um, after you turn off the uh, weapon safety, so you have to manually turn off uh, the. Uh, you get you can automatically you know drop or you can selectively drop the store, either safe or uh, or armed. So like if you needed to drop the weapon, you could uh, and it was a high drag bomb, you could actually have it drop in safe, but you could tell it to arm the tail and deploy its little parachute uh, and drop it if you needed a high drag drop for some reason. That's an option. And you can actually select up here the... Uh, it depending on obviously the store you have, um, you'll have to set it to the correct setting, but you can, you can jettison the store itself, you can jettison the rack and any stores obviously that it's attached to it. So like we could jettison the the Lao 77 or whatever that is holding our three two Mavericks, and uh, or Lao 88, excuse me. And uh, we c this our missile select here will um, will jettison or will launch our missiles. They'll be launched on un un unarmed, obviously, but they will it uh, allows it to trigger the rocket motor for our for our missiles. So that's the selective jettison page, and our inventory uh, page here allows us again to edit certain settings. So say we wanted to change our GBU-12 laser code because we have another aircraft in here with GBU-12 who's going to be using uh, laser code 1688. So we can actually go into this weapon and we can edit what kind of store it is, what kind of weapon it is, we can go in everything and manually edit the weapon. So we have a GBU, so we want GBU, it's a GBU-12, so we want a GBU-12 and we can change our laser code here, we can also change uh, you know, what kind of fuses it's the aircraft is looking for, set the fuses, um, a lot of the stuff obviously it's not going to be using, the most, the most often you're going to be using the screen for is to change your laser code on laser guided munitions. So if we wanted to change our laser code, we'd select and input the the desired laser code in the UFC or on the MF or excuse me the CPU, and then we'd hit the button next to laser code and it would input that value. Then once you made your changes here, you always have to load uh, to the DSMS of the changes that you made. Now if say we have two GPU 12s that we want to both change laser codes of, instead of having an individually load um, for each GBU-12, we hit, we can hit the load sym symmetrical button over down here and it will load for symmetrical stations. So like we know we have two bombs on symmetrical stations here so we can hit load, symmetri uh, load symmetrical and it will load to both both bombs um, on station 8 and station 4. So that basically covers the basic usage of the DSMS, and um, hopefully that kind of demystifies that screen for you. Um, there's a couple of other things that you can do in there that don't really need to be covered. Um, that's basically all you're going to be using it for unless you have a serious weapons malfunction. Um, hopefully this this covers you know any questions you have. If you have any more, please uh, please uh, comment on the comment section of the video. Um, subscribe to the stream or the video channel, excuse me, and uh, hopefully this uh, has helped you out understanding the dismiss page.